Sorty, 27 6 2, weighed in at 204 pounds. There you see his reach advantage, two and a half inches over Butcher, and a two inch reach advantage on the leg kicks. Butcher, 33 6 3, 202 pounds, so a slight deficit on the reach. We'll see how he makes up that. This one's scheduled for three rounds as we set it in to Joe Martinez. And now, fight fans, we are set to go three rounds in this light heavyweight throwdown. If either fighter finishes in the first or second round, they clinch themselves a light heavyweight playoff spot. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu practitioner standing six feet, three inches tall. Weighing it officially 202 pounds, it's 14 fight veteran, holds 11 victories and three defeats. Fighting out of Bear Creek, West Virginia, here is Jason Butcher! And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist standing six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in 204 pounds and in 23 professional fights, had 16 victories and seven defeats. Presentando de Rio Cuarto, Cordoba, Argentina, here is He-Man, Emiliano Sordi! And your referee in charge of the action is Bill Bookwalter. So Bill Bookwalter in charge of the action here. Here is the situation, 10-point must system in effect and based on aggression and control. No knees to the head of a grounded opponent, no elbows anywhere, anytime. Both these guys, both wins, finished everybody. Not one win went to a decision with these guys. And so expect some action. Right. Sorty known for quick starts and letting it fly. We'll see if he makes the trip from Argentina pay off here in Atlantic City. Big guys with a lot of movement early. And Randy, we've talked about this. The pressure on these guys. Oh! And just right like uppercut. that. Little right up. Sorty lands catches on Butcher, butcher and ends it. Welcome to the playoffs, Sorty. Jason Butcher pressing the action, trying to get busy right off the bat. Sorty does a nice job of moving laterally, stepping to the outside, throwing a nice little right uppercut, lands flush on Sorty. Only 16 seconds. Flush on Butcher, rather. And, and, and the way he moved out of the way right, and landed the uppercut right away, side step to the side. Well, I, I guess you could wow. say the trip from Argentina was worth it. 16 minutes of work, and he's into the playoffs. Seconds. <laughs> 16 seconds. Minutes, seconds, I mean. Seconds, minutes, you know. Let's look at this one more time, guys. 16 seconds is what it took. Wait for it. Think. Right there. A little short right uppercut. Now, a lot of people at home might be saying, why did the ref stop it so quick? Come on, give him a chance to recover. It, it fell to his face. This is not boxing. There's no standing eight counts. If you're not in a position to intelligently defend yourself in this sport, the fight is over. Yeah. Wow. Watch it on ref cam. Fight there. And right there, he's out, goes to the knees. The ref comes in, then he kind of comes back, Randy, and starts to scramble, wondering, and this happens a lot oh, when a guy right gets knocked out. He doesn't realize when he comes back up that the fight is over. Yep. He starts trying to wrestle or fight the official. Sixteen seconds is all it took. The decision will probably take longer. Handling that, Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially 16 seconds. Round number one, your winner by KO victory, a six-point playoff clinching victory for Emiliano Jimenezoli. Jason Butcher showing good sportsmanship, but I'll tell you what, Randy, no one likes to lose in 16 seconds. And it happened, so he, he got clipped. He did. I mean, he was bringing the energy, bring, yeah. coming forward. And Sorty doing such a nice job of moving laterally and finding that opening. You saw it early in the first exchange. He caught him with that little inside shot. And then the second time, it was right on the butt. You know what's amazing about this is Sorty did not fight at PFL 2. This is his first PFL fight. He gets it done in 16 seconds. That is called being efficient, as Jason Butcher has now been eliminated after the loss in PFL 2 to Max and Grecian in the first round. TKO suffers his second first round. TKOs. We send it into Boss Root, who's with the winner, Emiliano Sordi.
All right, here with Emilia Emiliano Sordi. Uh, you clinched the spot in the playoffs right now. So, you know, it's still, we got to see what happens next, but it's looking good. Você acabou de garantir uma vaga aí nos playoffs com esses seis pontos. Não precisa acompanhar o que já aconteceu, mas já sabe o que está dentro. Pô, é verdade, estou muito feliz. Foi a luta mais rápida que eu tenho, só 15 minutos. Assim que estou feliz, estou pronto para lutar essa noite agora. <risos> If you guys want to put me in the fight again tonight, I could do it. I'm extremely happy, and this was the fastest fight of my night. 16 seconds. Let's go. Well, I believe it. Both of you guys, if you look, both of you had all your wins coming by way of stoppage. So that means that anyone could make a mistake. Did you expect it was going to be this easy? Você e o seu adversário, os dois, todas as suas vitórias vieram por nocaute. Então, isso é uma coisa que a gente já estava esperando. O que você achou da luta? Eu sempre ganhei por nocaute e finalização. Eu só aí para lutar. Não estou aqui para deixar a luta na, na mão do juiz. Eu venho aqui para finalizar toda a luta. I come here to fight. I don't come here to read the judges' scorecards. You, you better bet that when you put me inside the cage. With who are you training? With who are you training? Where did you get your skills from? What time? What age did you start? Com quem você treina? Onde você, enfim, aprendeu todo o seu arsenal? Na verdade, eu comecei a treinar na minha cidade, cidade bem pequenininha. E agora mudei para, pá, eu treinei no Brasil, treinei muito. Agora mudei para para Califórnia, tô treinando com a Alliance. Tô aí com o melhor cara do mundo. Eu Phil Davis, meus pais todo dia, tenho aí os coach Miguel, Gabriel. Na verdade, o, o time é sensacional. Uh, I've been training since a kid at Rio 4 in, in Argentina. Ever since then I moved to Brazil and these days I'm in California in San Diego. I train at Alliance and I, I got the best training partners out there in Phil Davis, Miguel, Gabriel and these guys are the best to me. Perfect. All right. You got 12 knockouts now under your resume. Congratulations, Luke Sharp. Ladies and gentlemen, Emiliano. Una más Argentina! Oh, that's what he's going to do. Emiliano, sorry!